My name is Alicia LaRue. I am a freelance designer. Basically, I moved here because of the location. And then I found the house prices. I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you serious? This house that I'm in is 102 years old. It was built by the Bank of Montreal and I got it for a little over 200,000. Years ago, I remember very clear driving through Port Alberni. Oh, this place is kind of neat. And then I looked over and I saw the mill and I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I don't, it just didn't really have a good first impression for me. But I was up at Nitnat Lake kiteboarding. So I came into Port Alberni the back way, like this area here. And I was just like, this isn't what I remember. Look at these character homes. Look at, wow. And I just remember being shocked. It had history to it, like every house. Oh, that was built in the 20s. That was Art Nouveau. Oh, that was, and a lot of them still have that character. Isn't <laughs> great? Look how cute is that, right? Like, look at that. It's gorgeous, and I've seen inside of it, and it's just finished detail, arts and crafts movement. They made things to last. So this, to me, was a great location, and also, at the same time, it had wind that was uh, untapped. Oh. <laughs> I'm an avid kiteboarder. <laughs> just the most beautiful feeling ever. You know, getting out there and you don't have any motorized vehicle, like you are your own boat. And then, you know, after you've been doing it for a while, you start jumping and start doing tricks and it's just, time slows down when you're just up in the air. Boom, yeah. So they just land, cruise off. It's a, it's a beautiful sport. You go kiteboarding on the Juan de Fuca Strait, it's cold and it's punchy. You kiteboard at Nitnat, it's overcrowded. There's tons of people on there. Here, the water's really warm. That's not typical for uh, a lot of places on the island, or even Squamish is freezing cold. There's a lot going on in the inlet, but it's fun in that sense. So again, you have to be a, a good rider. You have to know, like when you see a, a boat coming, you have to know how to turn around and, and get out of everyone's way. So uh, those are the challenges, but at the same time with those challenges, I think that that's something that adds to this area is that, you know, the kiteboarders that are kiting the inlet are good kiteboarders. You want to kiteboard someday? Yeah. One of these days she's gonna get out there and kite. It looks fun. It does look fun, doesn't it? Like you. you want to grow up to be just like me? <laughs> the waterfront is a huge asset that people have just, oh, it's industry. Oh, it's, they do this or that. And they haven't quite seen the value of it as far as a place to attract people to want to come and live and enjoy. You kind of, I think you have to look at the history, like the history of the area, but you also have to look at the future. We need to grow as a, as a city. And I do believe that we're gonna grow in, in attracting more families, more people that want to start up a business. Keeping that fire going underneath uh, industry, underneath politics and change is scary for everybody. And, and this town has been a prime example of, of that conscious effort from everybody here being a little bit scared of change. So just to embrace that and be, it's okay. But guess what you still have? Whatever happens down at the inlet is, you know, it's politics, but at the same time, you know, more people that are like-minded people come into town, things will change. You know, even with kiteboarding. Moved here and there was the whole issue with, um, you know, the launch, banning the launch from Centennial Pier and seeing how people were upset by it. People were, uh, you know, emailing the mayor and council and they were social media, they were getting upset and how that made change, like that was, wonderful to see and then you know a friend of mine from kiteboarder magazine just sending him an email about it and now you know i i've got a kiteboarder magazine that you know you look through and i'm like there's my mom and dad <laughs> there i am there's my dog oh my god like and this is a this is a magazine that that is international did i see that coming no and then this is an old uh an old article that was written years back about how the inlet be a great place for kiteboarders Ultimately, I would love to uh, see more public access, but you know, I mean, this, this area has really made my life a hell of a lot more exciting. <laughs> so it would be a great place to, to get people that move out of the big cities and decide that they want a slower pace of life and bring their family here and maybe start up that bakery they've always thought of and they've always wanted to do. You know? So I really do think that the people who are going to be moving here are people here who are, um, are strong, um, who have courage, and who will make a difference.